Welcome to Gallery Riva, to opening of the Vernissage 21. We, uh, we were open for the first time in 2002, in March, March 6, and it was Vernissage 1. We even wrote on the postcard what Vernissage means, because most of people in this country doesn't know what Vernissage means. What does it mean, Ted? It means nothing. <laughs> it's, it's a gathering of the French uh, friends of the artist in his or her studio, and he's putting varnish, last layer, on the painting. And next day, they are showing these paintings in the galleries or museums or whatever. So, vernissage is from varnishing. How many people of uh, our association varnish the paint? No one. We, we had about 25 members at the beginning of our gallery. Yeah, but yeah, this is not what I asked. Who did the varnishing? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> for us, it's very important to still be in this wonderful place. And it's uh, one of the biggest retail space on the island. And uh, it was first gallery, art gallery. And when we opened this gallery, people are co were coming to me and saying, oh, you, you will not survive in one year. So we are very proud that we celebrate the Vernissage 21. <laughs> and this is the thanks to all the people who are working entirely during the year, we have around eight exhibitions during the year. We have another gallery in Octagon, which you know. You're living in yeah, Octagon? No, we live in 20. Yes, yes. sorry. <laughs> uh, and we are working also with Ryok on um, showing the new murals in Motorgate Gallery. From time to time, we have the ex exhibition in Manhattan, in different places, in different galleries. And today, uh, on the back of the postcard, you see the names of the artists. Today, we clean the gallery, aim the, wall, the lights, um, and we were very proud to put together the show. And I am extremely happy, and we are extremely happy for the turnout. I mean, it's a cold day. <laughs> and you are here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And, and I would like to introduce to you our guest artist. It's uh, Tadeusz Gabo, friend of mine for 30 years. He had a recent exhibition in Krakow, in Poland, uh, not so far from Ukraine. Uh, there is also Radu. Radu Serban. And uh, Constantine. I cannot pronounce your name. Maragudaki. 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 Yes. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Uh, Radu painting are in blue from Manhattan. This one is a Radu. Konstantin is here and in some other places. And uh, Tadeusz is on this side close to the window. So look around. I would like to share with you also the sad news. Two of our artists passed away during the last few weeks. Uh, Idel Stumka Livi, who was with us from uh, with us from the very beginning, a very accomplished abstract painter from Germany. She passed away like four weeks or three and a half weeks ago. And recently, a week and a half, uh, Arlene Jacobi, who was co-founder of this uh, association. And I would like to ask Esther Cohen to say a few words about them. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, it's, as Ted said, this is the anniversary that we founded Riva in 2002. In fact, it was March 8th, 2002, so which is exactly around time. I met 
I met Arlene, uh, she was, she had a little studio across the street and uh, for art and drawing. And then we, together, she recruited me to do what's called an art frenzy. So the art frenzy, Mama moved to Queens and in order to connect a, a bus going around Queens, Socrates Park and Aguchi, she recruited me to try and collect artists to do a, a frenzy in the, the school at Piers 217. So uh, we went out and in, over a weekend created with many of us who are here, Tad and Georgette and Toshiko, many of us who are here today were together on that weekend. After that weekend, by the end of uh, 2001, Reva was founded together with Tad and with Philip Groner who's here today, Harry Small. And then in 2002, we opened our wonderful gallery. So I just have a few words about uh, Arlene to remember her. She was vivacious, tenacious, a force to be reckoned with, a leader, a speaker, a teacher, a fashionista, an artist, a sculptor, a ceramicist, experimental, and printer. She inspired us, she impacted us, and she wrapped us around her finger. So many of you will Not know me. what I <laughs> And so not only that, so the idea also was at the time with us together, we, uh, the idea of uh, Roosevelt Island being a center of the arts with Riva and today we can see that it's not only, you know, we have a fall for the arts, we have Octagon also and also Recently, three sculptures have opened uh, on the island, which uh, we have the first plinth, we have Gustav's Christ's uh, Blue, Dragon. Blue Dragon, and recently opened the Girl Puzzle, uh, honoring Nellie Bly. So it's amazing, after 20 years, here is this art center, this connection between Manhattan and Queens, and, and the idea of us being an international community which is also something about also uplifting our neighborhood, that the arts uplift our neighborhood, uplift Ma Main Street. And today, especially in a time that we're going through of peace and war, and especially war, uh, we, again, I want to think about and, and pray for unity and the good of humanity and the good of us in, as artists, as creators, in, that the, the humanity will prevail and the good in us will prevail. Party on, Arlene. Well, making sure that we are bringing the arts to the island because our life uh, is different when we are surrounded by uh, art. <clears throat> With uh, Susan Rosenthal, we started the project to change this island into island of art. We brought Gustav Kreitz, Blue Dragon. He's recently proposing the big blue sphere on the first plinth. We have the photos. We got from France, from Paris, the photo of one dollar bill, which uh, Rio already voted to do it on the island. This is a gift. 30 feet high bronze sculpture of one dollar bill. It's going on. It's currently in foundry in Italy. So uh, <clears throat> this is what we are doing beh behind the scenes. Uh, it takes a lot of time, a lot of energy. But with the current president, Mr. Shelton, uh, we are moving forward. So pretty soon we will have the Western Promenade filled with additional sculpture, which will be promoting the business on the main street because uh, people walking to the destiny of Nelly Bly will come back with the red bus and they will be hungry. <laughs> I want to also say, I want to thank the community. I want to thank all of us who have turned out tonight. We have such an incredible, after two years of, of the pandemic and so on, that we, we have such a great turnout of, of coming back together again, uh, of this international and national beautiful community of, from all over the world. 
And so thank you to all of you and to help to and enjoy the art and, and buy art. And the good news is that during the last six months, we got the new six members and they are working with us. 